I say hello, welcome to the continent, the motherland. Welcome to Angola. Don't ever say I never brought you to Africa, okay, everybody? Don't ever say. So here's the airport. Airport. I landed yesterday. So voila, there's the airport. 4 de fevereiro é data importante porque é babá. Explica ainda? Okay, so so the, the airport's name is February 4th and uh, it's important because that's the date of like Angola's independence in 1970. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Anna. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, a subscriber, welcome back. If you're a returning viewer, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna try something different and you let me know if you like the style of this video better versus the other styles or if you're okay with both styles, I'm gonna try something different. So I've been here now for a week and week one has been about getting over the jet lag which has been and was real and then it has also been about spending quality time with family y'all family that i have not seen in a decade so i've been spending really good quality time with family so what's the juice the juice was that i left toronto and had a 13 hour flight to ethiopia i did not film anything on the flight because i'm telling you it was the most traumatizing flight experience I've ever had no jokes no drama seriously no problem hi say hi hi guys <laughs> most traumatizing flight experience I've ever had I arrived at the airport three and a half hours early my bags were ready everything uh, when I got to the airport they're like oh you need to have a COVID test a specific one the PCR PC or whatever test I'm like what in the actual universe nobody told me i didn't know they sent me to a whole different terminal to get the covid test i get to said location and i'm bringing in two huge suitcases plus a backpack and i carry on i'm traveling to angola everybody i'm in angola so this is not the travel for a weekend to the states or travel for you know with carry on this is proper travel and then I go to the place where they tell me to go get tested. The place is closed and would only open at 10 o'clock in the morning. My flight was at like 10.30. So not enough time because they would have closed the, the place where you check in, you know, your check-in spot. Oh, I had checked in online. That's the other thing. I checked in online the day before and nowhere, nowhere did it say that I needed. I even got my vaccine as a precaution. So this was my booster shot. I got it as a precaution. But nowhere did it say that I would have needed uh, to have the COVID, negative PCR COVID test. But anyway, so I went there. The place was closed. I was like, I was like, that's it. I'm not going to go because I can't get the test. This lovely, lovely woman, I never got her name. She was literally an angel at the airport. She was part of the housekeeping team. She found online a place where I could go. I had to call an, a lift, got into the lift went to the place to get tested. This is like eight something, 8.50 something. This is nine o'clock basically. I had to tell the Uber driver, can you please wait for me? Don't let make me take my bags out of the thing anymore. He waited for me, I got the test, got into the, the lift and then he drove me to the airport. That second time he didn't even charge me because he saw how like I was so stressed, I was crying, I was so upset. I was like, I'm gonna miss the flight. All the money that I spent on this trip, it's proper money. It's proper money. All the money I spent on this trip, I'm going to lose it. I made it. Literally, I got back to the line to check in so I could bring my suitcases. And they closed the line right behind me. There was a family that came after me. They're like, nope, that's it. After this lady, nobody else. I was like, thank you, God. Like, that was God's hand that allowed me to get in. So anyway, it was very traumatizing travel experience. 13 hours, Toronto to Ethiopia. And then... Uh, two hour layover that ended up just being an hour layover because our Toronto flight was late and then another four hours Ethiopia to Angola. So I've been here for a week. I've been recovering and um, Now I'm gonna show you footage of the city. Okay, so I arrived yesterday and my bags didn't make it but it's okay because they made it today So I just picked up my bags. My heart is at ease right now Okay. So yeah, Luana, there you go. Hey, hey, hey. 
So anyway, so oh, nos azuis e brancos. So that's their um, public transportation. One of the forms of public transportation, not all. Yesterday, like I explained, my bags didn't arrive. I don't know if you all could hear me because of the wind. My bags didn't arrive. They arrived today. All is well. But guess who's here with me? <laughs> Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. It's my sister. Ooh, we got the bags. We got the bags. We got the bags. <laughs> Eu tenho um canal do YouTube, senhor Manuel, por isso é que eu estou a fazer isso. Ah, ok. Ah, okay. largo amigo. Oh, eu estudava aqui, Cruz Linda. Subia por ali, okay. o Cruz Linda, eu estudava ali. Oh my god! Uau! E o Mike é onde está? Na Igreja do Carmo? Sim, sim. Oh, e viemos por aqui? É. Eu pensei que fosse ali por baixo. Não, não, é aqui. Aqui é mais aqui próximo. É mais fácil, sim. Ah, a Igreja do Carmo. Eu estava a pensar Carmelitas. Não, não, eu... Ah, a Igreja do Carmo. Carmo. É ah, ok. Ei, hey, Angolê. Hey. Oh, que bom. Mike, você já está por aqui? Sim. Ah, tá. Sim, chegamos lá. Que é caminho. Hum, a caminho, aqui a caminho, a caminho. Estamos aí para o Quilamba. Sim, estamos aí. Okay. Deixando o Quilamba aí. Ela está dizendo que conhece algum sítio aqui, a caminho. Uns ladinhos até chegar lá. Não, pensei yeah. que fosse escurecer. Yeah. Ah, andando e vendo. Andando e vendo. Eu também. <risos> tu não dás nada. <risos> Nisso. Nossa, vocês, vocês os dois não dão nada. Nem o senhor Manuel, nem o Maquês. Hi friends! Another day, another vlog with my nephew. Uh. <risos> my model nephew, Maquês. So Yes, finally! He's here! Yes! It only took how long? I'm finally here. Uh, we are, so we're gonna take my guest to. You're going to a party, right? Yes. He's very popular. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> he's very popular. He has options. So he's going to a party. So I'm just going for the ride so I can see the city, you guys. Memories are coming back. Slowly but surely, memories are coming back. I feel like I'm almost back to not being jet lagged. Like my body is back to normal. It's been good to be here, spending time with family all day, every day. So yeah. So now we're going to this neighborhood that is called Kilamba. Kilamba. Onde nós vamos pro Kilamba? So I'll take you along. Oh my longa viaje. It's a long ride. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, 
Não, meu Deus. Uau! Vamos vir caminhar aqui? Oh, ok, então vamos caminhar aqui um dia. footage of the city if you are from Angola let me know how different it looks from when you were last here and this is just a little bit of footage what I love the most was like driving by places that I'm like oh I remember aqui a Mayanga esse é subir onde eu ia pro Cruz Linda this is where I used to go to school blah 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 so that was good and then the palm trees and the view of the ocean right by the highway like right by the road listen houses that face the ocean I'm here for all of it. So, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. It's been a minute. Stay tuned. I'm going to be here in Angola for a really long time, a good amount of time. So, there's more and more footage to come. Thanks for watching. And if there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. Bye.